Whenever you see food that is in a box, bag, can, or jar, in most cases, it has been highly processed, okay? And if not processed, it's been highly processed or ultra processed. And that's hugely important because all of the fiber, all of the nutrients have been pulled out of it, okay? Even when you do that with meat, some of that processing involves how they wash the meat and sometimes they wash the meat in chlorine or what have you. And they're doing that for a very specific reason as well too. So even meat is being processed as well too. You gotta think about it. If you kill a, a cow on Sunday and then six months from today, like in and out of a freezer, there's no way possible that, you know, going from one freezer to this cooler, then this freezer to this cooler, that that meat is still going to be good, okay? It's not going from freezer to freezer, okay? We can see that when you walk in the grocery store. It's like, it's right there, okay? And when you put that meat out, like, I mean, you know, if you were to, I mean, I don't eat meat. I haven't eaten meat in a, over a decade. But what I can tell you is that it's not made to last. Just the same way a tomato isn't made to last, Okay, so something is being done to it to make it last. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. All right, the other thing that's really important that is making food so toxic is that it's fake, it's not real. Most of the things that are being put into the recipe of food are not real substances. Okay, and when you use things that aren't real, now you don't have to worry about it actually deteriorating and creating a mold or a fungus and going bad. Not the last one on the shelf that's good for the business and that's also good for the food company, but not good for you, okay? The other reason why food is so toxic today is because there are no ethical standards. Not only is there no ethical standards, but there's no real definition of food anymore. Food should be anything that is a living substance because life only gives life. Like you can't make a baby without a life form, okay? It has to have a seed, which we know is sperm, and that sperm has to go into an egg. Both of those things are living. But if the, the eggs are dead and the sperm are dead, you don't make a baby, okay? Same thing with food. The more and more unnatural things you start to put in it, no ethics, no definition of what is real food today. And because of that, this is why what is considered food is being stretched out, okay? Most of the, I, and I say this all the time, 70 to 80% of the food in the supermarket did not exist 60 years ago. Most of the products when you walk in there that are considered foods did not exist, okay? They're new products, all right? You go back 60, 70 years ago, you walk into the store, Mostly everything is organic and mostly everything is like one ingredient foods. Okay, it's totally different environments today. And then the last, but of course there's more reason why the food is so toxic today is because the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, FDA, is not FDA in. <laughs> They're not doing their job. They're, in, they're responsible for what they should be responsible for if that's what food and drug administration they're supposed to be responsible for what foods should not only be considered foods but also what is deemed safe okay and america's food is banned in 30 countries but approved here in the, in america i mean i'm and i'm talking about all of the eu that's 28 different countries in europe China, Japan, Australia, banned there. So the point, the point that I'm trying to make is, is that everywhere else is saying no to trans fats, no to high fructose corn syrup, no to all of these ingredients that they're putting in foods here in the U.S., but the U.S., the FDA is saying, it's okay with me, let it ride. So the FDA is not FDA, okay? So that's just a few reasons why the food is so toxic. Let's get into the eight reasons why the food industry is so corrupt, okay? Which is a totally different conversation. But we're going to explore it. Number one, because their, their top priority, the food industry's top priority is their bottom line. And if with something this important, which is a necessity, food is a, is a necessity. With something this important, when your top priority 
is your bottom line, how much money you make, your stock, your, 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 your stockholders, you know, the company itself, profits, if that's the top priority, then it's set up to fail from the beginning. There was no way that we were gonna keep a safe, nutritious, healthy, and ethical food system because if they're allowed to make their top priority their bottom line, then guess what? Every decision is gonna be made on based on what is profitable. And I'll be the first to tell you like, cheap, toxic food lasts longer, it's cheaper to make, you can sell, sell it for a higher price. And um, guess what? Apples, oranges, green leafy vegetables, even quinoa. You can grow in your backyard depending on where you're at or in the greenhouse. So you literally could print your own food. So this is why, number one reason why the food industry is so corrupt because they're allowed to make their priority their bottom line, okay? I mean, look at meat. I mean, lab-grown meat has been approved here in the U.S. And in my opinion, it's been approved. Like, it didn't just get approved. You guys have been eating lab-grown meat. I mean, and I'm not talking about the Beyond Meat and the Impossible Meat, the vegan meats, quote-unquote, that I don't eat and don't recommend. I'm talking about what you think is chicken breast, what you think is, you know, ground beef. I'm talking about those things. <laughs> those things are not what you think they are, okay? And and in my opinion, and check check the check this video five years from now, and what you'll discover is is that most of the meat will be non-existent. It will be a luxury to get. Not only real meat, but probably real green leafy vegetables. I mean, you start to look at how much farmland that people like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos are buying up. You see the direction we're going in. So this is another reason, again, why the food industry is so corrupt. Okay. No ethical standards. And the top priority is their bottom line. Number two, the food agency is funding the protective agencies. What I mean by that, the AHA, AHA, the American Heart Association, the American Diabetes Association, the American Can Cancer uh, Society. When you start to look up who are their top funders, you will see a lot of the foods that are causing diabetes, that are causing heart attacks, that are causing cancers, known carcinogens. Guess who? Guess who just so happened to be the top funders? You go to the ADA, the ADA, which is the American Diabetes Association. You look at the diet that they say that this is what you should be eating if you're diabetic. diabetic. Most of the foods on there are actually causing your blood sugar to be high. Same thing with cancer. So that's what I'm saying. Like the food industry has paid these agencies off and you can... It's not that I'm saying it. I'm saying go to their website and look at what they're saying you should eat, shouldn't eat. And you will see things on there that are directly correlated with what that agency should be fighting against. Okay? And you'll see the hypocrisy in it all. All right? Number three, the food agency lobbies and funds most politicians, if not all of them. And politicians create the regulations and the policies are in and around food. So they're deciding what our kids are eating at their schools, okay? They're deciding what is okay and what isn't okay, which is why our foods are banned here, but not banned in 30 other countries. They're deciding those regulations and policies on what is considered a vegetable. That's why here in America, a packet of ketchup is considered a vegetable in our kids' school because these food, these food industry uh, and food companies are lobbying and funding politicians, okay? And they've been bought and sold, many of them, okay? I'm not going to say all of them, but many of them, most of them, okay? 
And I won't even give you my whole spill around what I think about that. But I'll just tell you is that if you, in my opinion, if you are a servant of the pe people, that goes from everything from a policeman to a school teacher to a politician. Your highest priority should be the safety and the goodness of the people. And if you look as a whole, it doesn't add up. All right. Number four, the food industry funds professional associations. Professional associations like the American Medical Association, go look, which is the AMA, which is for physicians. Go look who the top, you know, the top funders are. Okay. Go look at the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Look at who their top funders are. It's going to be the food industry. All right. 